What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Guys here, Leads for Locals. Got a really cool video for you today. This one's going to be more for my SaaSpreneurs, agency owners, maybe course creators as well. But, you know, technically you can use this in uh, any any business uh, where you have a website. But uh, I'm going to be sharing, uh, sharing with you how to create and add pop-up messages to your Go High Level SaaS product, your members area, or again, just your main website if you want. This is a really powerful tool for generating more leads, maybe uh, webinar registrations, uh, client notifications, which is what I'm using them for right now, uh, driving traffic to content. Like there's there's some really powerful stuff you can do with this. And we're using a tool called Push Alert. You can get started for free. So link in the description. It is an affiliate link. I would really appreciate it if you go through that link. It does help support the channel. But um, uh, Push Alert is just awesome. Uh, I checked out a couple of different ones, and this was by far the best that, that I have found anyways. So uh, it's cheap, really easy to use. You can get this up and running. And have this on like inside of your SaaS product or whatever in like 10 minutes. All right. So uh, make sure you stick to the ends because uh, this can be a really powerful tool to add to your agency. All right. So do me a solid, guys. Uh, if you don't mind, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all the links in the description. Always have good stuff for you guys. There are additional training and joining the Facebook group and all that. All right. So uh, first, I want to show you a preview of the pop up message that I'm using right now. And this is uh, basically what I wanted was a way to notify my SaaS clients uh, whenever I have a, a new feature added or, uh, you know, I add a new training, whatever, because I do the email blast and, you know, I post in the Facebook group, which is great, but not everybody sees that. Sometimes the emails go to spam. Not everybody sees the Facebook post. Uh, everybody will see this, though, when they log into the product. So this is a phenomenal way to to be in front of your SaaS clients when they actually log into your product. And also this could really be any members area, uh, again, a course as well. So if you built a membership area inside of uh, go high level, uh, you can you can do that. Uh, you can do this with that as well. All right. So I'm just basically letting them know uh, that, that, you know, as in this example, we just uh, launched the new social media planner. We add that to everybody's account. Here's where the training is. Here's what it does. Right. So, uh, cause I want people to know when, when new stuff is added to my SaaS product, right? That's really important. Uh, cause you want people using the new features and, and, you know, getting better and better and better results using your product, right? So the way I'm using it right now primarily is for client notifications, but I actually made a list here of some different ways to use this that I'm going to be testing out, uh, especially driving traffic to content. I think this can be a really powerful way. Like if you have a blog or an active Facebook group, YouTube channel, Anytime you post new content, you want to get more eyeballs on that uh, content, you can actually create a pop up on your website, inside your SaaS product when people log in, whatever, and uh, have a button that links to that piece of content. Right. So really powerful way to drive traffic. Uh, again, you can also send them to, you know, your opt in forms. Uh, so with push alert, you can actually they have forms that you can use. So you can have the form actually on the pop up message. But that's when you have to start using Zapier and all that. And I just I don't really want to mess with that. So I'd rather just have a button that links to the opt in form for whatever, uh, you know, if I'm giving away a free guide, a new training or masterclass and they have to opt in in order to get that it can be a really great way to, to generate more leads, uh, possibly even appointments. Maybe maybe you have an upsell service with your SaaS product or just your, your agency in general where you know, maybe there's group coaching, one on one coaching. Maybe there's uh, just a, another product that you can upsell. Maybe you put, uh, maybe you link it out to your appointment, a pre-qualification appointment calendar, right? Uh, webinar registration. So anytime you do live training, you want to get more uh, of your clients and just your, your web traffic to register for that webinar. It's a great way to do it. Surveys, driving traffic to content. I don't think uh, exit pop-ups are really necessary because, uh, you know, typically any website builder or funnel builder, it's going to allow you to do exit pop-ups anyways. But yeah, those are just some additional ways of, of doing it. And again, uh, it's using this tool called Push Alert. Uh, again, link in the description. Do me a solid, guys, and go through that link. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, you can get started for free. Their pricing is pretty cheap. I think it's like 20, maybe 30 bucks a month. I can't remember, honestly. Uh, but they have two different products, web push notifications and on-site messaging. That's what I'm going to be showing you how to do right here is on-site messaging. But feel free to play around with both of them, all right? So let's get logged in. Go ahead and create your account. Um, it's going to ask you what website you want your pop-up message to show on. I just, uh, for my SaaS product, I just put the login page for my SaaS product. I don't think it matters too much with that regards because we're going to take the JavaScript, put it into our account anyways, but just put your main website or your login page for your course, your SaaS product, whatever it is. 
All right. And then you're going to go to integrate. Well, actually, let me back up here so that we're on the same page. This is your main on-site messaging dashboard. Here's all the websites that we have connected. You can connect another one here. All right. Uh, from there, uh, we're just going to click it. All right. We can see all the metrics for this particular website with all the uh, notifications and pop-up messages. We're going to click on integrate. I believe it prompts you to do this when you're creating your account anyways, uh, but you're going to grab this code. We're going to head over to go high level. So a couple of different ways to do this, again, depending on what your uh, what type of business you're running here. If you have a SaaS product and you want this notification or this message to pop up whenever people log into your, your, your SaaS product, then you're going to go to settings and then click on company. And then at the bottom, we're going to look for custom JS. That's custom JavaScript. It's going to be right here under the privacy policy. Uh, you can see mine's post, uh, pasted right in here. So paste that, click update company. And you're good to go. Any, any uh, now, any um, push uh, push notification or uh, pop up message inside a push alert is going to show up uh, in your uh, your SaaS product. Now, let's say you have uh, you, just a, a membership area that that um, that you want to do this with. We will go to uh, so sites, members, uh, memberships. Go to your products and then click on the product. All right, so this this would be just for very specific membership areas. I'm just going to use this one as an example. We're going to click Edit Details and then scroll down to the bottom, click on Advanced, and right here, Custom JS. Boom, paste that in, come down, click Save, and you're good to go. All right, so that's how you get it set up. Now let's go through some really cool stuff that you can do with this. So I'm going to show you the notifications one that I'm doing right now, and then I'll show you a couple of other features in case you do want to do this for lead generation, webinar registration, driving traffic, et cetera. All right, so we're gonna click on create campaign. A lot of different templates that you can choose from here, guys. Uh, so choose whatever one tickles your fancy. All right, and then, uh, so I right now I use, it's called customer help, pretty basic. Uh, th this was just, I don't know, the easiest one I found. So this is what I'm using for my notifications right now. We click this, uh, so we'll click edit. So I'll just choose, you know, headshot here really quick. You can use whatever you want. I think mine is all the way at the bottom here. There we go. All right, then you obviously you can change this to your name, maybe your company name. I'm gonna put Matty Ice. All right, and then we just start typing this out. What, what's the what's the update? Uh, of course, we can change the alignment, font size, all different. You know, pretty much anything with the font you can change. I'll just put new. Uh, let's see, social media planner is live. Okay. And then this one, I will tell them a little bit about it, where the training is, et cetera, et cetera. I'm actually going to delete this right here because, again, I don't particularly like using the forms inside of Push Alert. I want to send them directly to my pages inside of Go High Level. So um, another thing we can do is click on position, and you can change the position of the pop-up message. Uh, let's go ahead and drag this up. There we go. All right, and uh, let's knock out a couple of things right here. Um, also, there's some cool effects that you can do too. Uh, and then you, you save it and then preview it. Uh, you can see what it does. So uh, let's knock these out really quick. I'm not going to deep dive into all this. This is just stuff that you'll play around with, you know, background colors and images. I would say keep it pretty simple. Don't overcomplicate this stuff. You don't have to make this, you know, magical looking pop-up message. As long as it gets the message across, uh, in my opinion, that's what matters. What I do like to click though, is uh, uh, under other settings here, close when clicked uh, outside so they don't have to click the X. Again, you know, we don't want to annoy our clients or our, our, uh, our visitors, right? So make it easy for them to get get rid of the pop-up. Uh, and I also don't recommend anything like too obnoxious, like taking up the whole page and stuff like that, I think is just, um, I guess it, it just depends. Like, you know, maybe something at the top or in the middle, but something that they can easily click out of, right? So keep that in mind. All right, here's all the cool stuff that you can do. Now, again, guys, uh, so this is what I'm doing right now. Like this right here is it. I, I, I'll just put a heading. I'll put, I'll describe what the update is. I'll click save. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. We'll go back to the home page, and then we'll come back and, and start messing around with some of these other elements. All right, here it is. And then you just turn it on whenever you're ready. And then you can archive them. You can copy them. Uh, that's what I do right now is I just copy it and uh, make a new one. Uh, just a reset, like who sees it. Well, we'll go through that in a second too. You can edit it, preview, see all the stats, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Now uh, let's open this back up again. And uh, let's actually go through the audience. All right. Because again, you can uh, you can control 
who sees this? Like, do you want, do you want your clients to see this every single time they log in uh, just one time if they're new, uh, returning, right? So you can control the, the audience for this as well as uh, the display. So if you want it to, I mean, there, there, there's just a lot of different things you can do here. Um, you can delay this as well. Uh, web pages, uh, if you want this to show on spe very specific web pages, maybe in your funnel, on your website, frequency, uh, every session, uh, every page view, like there's a lot of different uh, customizations you can make here. So play around with that. Um, as far as the blocks go, again, I'm going to keep this pretty simple. So, uh, you know, th th after you choose the template that you want, maybe you don't want this one, but uh, after that, I mean, you can add some images here. So uh, this would be really good for web, like live train. Well, I guess really anything. Um, images are can be really powerful way, kind of like Facebook ads almost. Like you want to, typically the way I do my Facebook ads is that the image that I use, it has text and a button and everything that tells the, tells people exactly what they're going to get, what they're going to learn, right? So maybe adding an image, it's a great way to grab attention too. So you can use images here. Uh, so we can just click that and then uh, we can drag it you know, to wherever we want. Maybe we want it at the top here. All right. Uh, and then um, the call to action, all right, right here at the bottom. So again, instead of using the forms, which uh, let's see, where are those? Uh, oh, you know, I think it's, um, I think it's sign up. Yeah. And then uh, if we edit this, so if you do want to use the forms, yeah, right here. So you can, you can add fields. Uh, th these are some default ones. And uh, I believe you can add some custom ones too. Yeah, like, you know, drop down, multi-line text, all that stuff, right? So uh, you can use their forms if you want. Uh, I just, I don't recommend it because you're, you're going to have to use Zapier to bring that information into your CRM uh, into Go High Level. So we're just going to edit this button right now. And uh, we just link it out to our, our registration page, our opt-in page, or the exact piece of content that we're trying to drive traffic to. So you can change the text here. Maybe it's click here to register. All right, click here to watch the video or the free training. Okay, and you know, you play around the font and all that stuff if you want, totally up to you. Uh, we can have some uh, animation here too. I think that's pretty cool. Again, just another way to grab uh, grab attention. Okay, and then uh, it's as simple as pasting your link in here, guys. Uh, I usually do recommend keeping it uh, open a new window. And then, yeah, you paste your link to your content, your opt-in page, registration page, whatever it is, click save. And whenever your your clients log into your SaaS product, log into your members area, visit your website, maybe specific web pages, whatever it is, they're going to see this pop up. And I don't know, I don't know about you, but I think that's a just a phenomenal way to get more leads, more appointments, more sales, uh, more traffic to your content, and just overall a, a really cool user experience as well. Uh, especially with the notifications, I think it's a great way to to keep up keep your clients up to date with what you're doing. Uh, it shows that you're proactively making the product better, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, it's pretty simple. I guess one last thing I'll mention is the uh, the embed part. I don't even know what this actually does, to be honest, because it, sa it says right here that no pop-up will be shown for this campaign. So I, I don't know. That sounds kind of useless. But everything else, solid. Uh, really easy to use. Lots of cool stuff you can do. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave some feedback down in the comments. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Uh, maybe some different strategies you're using pop-up messages for. Uh, that that's uh, working or the different ways you're using pop-up messages uh, that are working really well for you. I, I'm always open to that. So make sure you leave some comments down below. Uh, either way, I hope you guys are crushing it. I hope this video was helpful. Hope we get some light bulbs going off, uh, some different ways that you can use this to help grow your business. Uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys are crushing it. Appreciate your time. I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.